Well, guys, it looks like the future of the Star Wars universe is about to, well, remain how it has been, I suppose. Because it looks like Kathleen Kennedy is staying for quite a long time. Now I hear you. I hear you. Here, let me play a clip. I'll play it. I hear you. But I mean, my favorite grifter said she's been fired. They made at least 300 videos over the course of the last seven weeks. She's gone, right? Right? Her and that cursed Brie Larson ruined Star Wars. Somehow. Look, I hear you, but this is coming from one of the former editors of The Hollywood Reporter, whose name is Matthew Bolani. Hopefully I said that right. Just in case, though. I botched that one. Oh, that's a botched job. So, yeah. Sounds like Kathleen Kennedy is staying on to look over Star Wars and everything Lucas does in the foreseeable future. Because it makes sense. Um, you know. Look, you can say that she didn't know that Luke Skywalker was in The Mandalorian somehow, despite the fact that she's literally there signing off on these checks and literally vetoing or, and approving everything. So I don't know how it would make it to the final scene and then she's sitting at home eating popcorn and goes, What? Filoni betrayed me? I, I don't understand how you rationalize that, but the fact of the matter is they've had more hits with Star Wars than misses under her ever since The Force Awakens, especially when it comes to financials and, well, toy sales, which is honestly where it goes. And then... You look at everything that's happening with expanding Star Wars into Disney theme parks and everything. I mean, it's all there. You just have to kind of look at it and take off whatever hatred you have for her or whatever Disney does and realize that it makes sense. It just makes sense. They want her to oversee Star Wars going forward and sort of have her still be the voice of it because, believe it or not, she is one of the most influential people in the history of Hollywood. I know people love to forget this. They try to blame everything for her. They forget that she's one of the most, literally, most decorated producers in Hollywood history. From Back to the Future to Goonies to, oh my God, off the top of my head, uh, even the Flintstones, which many people remember fondly, to Jurassic Park entries, to so much that she's been involved with that, People just try to forget all that and just focus on this. She did this that I didn't like or I like, but when I saw that it gets me more hate clicks, I'm going to say I didn't like it. I get it, but she brings in a certain amount of prestige to your studio. Keeping her on is vital. So she's staying. So, um, yeah. Don't know what else to say. I move along now. Move along. Move along.